Okay, so let me show you how you can create your e-commerce website just like Jumia AliExpress where you can sell your digital and physical products for free. Okay, you don't need domain, you don't need hosting. My name is Isaac Matt and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So this is the app we are going to be using. It is called Vepa and if you don't have it, just go to your Play Store, your App Store and download the app. Okay, it is formerly known as Watash. So I'll just open the app. So we are going to create an account just for the sake of this video. So I'll click on create account and select the email you want to use. Input your name and your password. So click on create account. So just fill up all these details starting from the business name, um, the business description, the WhatsApp number and your currency, of course. So, so once you're done, just click on continue. So you want to upload your profile picture and your cover picture. So just click on finish. So you'll be sent an email to this account. Okay. So just check your email and verify it. Okay. So let's do that quickly. So if you don't see it under your primary email, you want to check your, um, just select show all emails and you can see VEPA. Okay. So click on it and activate your account. You can see the email has been verified. So your account has been activated and what you want to do is that you want to start uploading your products. Okay. But before you upload the product, you have to create categories in which you want that product to fall under okay so i'll click on category and i'll create some few categories so to create the category just input the name if you have a picture you can upload it and click on create make sure it is active so you can see i've created some few categories like perform shoes so whatever business you are into you can use this um, Vepa app to create your e-commerce website, okay? So let's go ahead and add our products. I'll click on the product icon and you can see just select the category you want to add the product on that, okay? So I want to select clothes and I'll click on add products. So we have three um, types of products. The first one is a simple product. So this variable is when you have different variables for a single product okay now we have the digital products maybe you have um, a course or you have a software you want to sell you can use this digital option okay so let me just walk you through quickly so let's create a simple product so just give it a name let's say i want to sell a white t-shirt so we have the regular price and the selling price okay now this selling price is a price you want to sell actual the actual price you want to sell let's say 1000 naira and let's say you want it to seem as if you are giving a discount you can just say um this goes for one two or yes let's say this goes for one to fifty okay so you'll be giving out a 20 percent discount so you're not really giving out a discount but you just make it seem as if you are giving out a discount. You can also apply this if you want to give out discount. Okay. So let's say you want to sell for, you want to give a 20% discount. You can just remove this and put it as a regular price and then reduce the selling price to give out 20% discount. Okay. So we have the description and it is very important to add a description. So once you're done, just click on create and your product will be created so you can add a media to tell more about the product so select the image from your gallery click on upload now we have other options you want to explore at your leisures i'll be showing you all of these in a more detailed video okay so i'll just go back and i want to add another product okay still under clothes so i'll select clothes and I'll click on this plus icon so i want to add a product under the variable okay i want to show you how this variable works so i'll click on variable and i'll give it a name 
this time around I'll give it two shots. And you want to add the general media for the t-shirts. So this is the general picture and we want to go down to attributes. Now the attribute is that distinct character that the product carries, okay? So when I click on add attributes, you can add attribute based on size, color, weights, etc. Okay, so you can add um, up to two attributes at a time okay and if you want to add more than two you can just upgrade to premium so i want to add based on color so i'll select it and this is how the attributes will look like so i want to use this color option so i'll click on create so because of network just give it time to load yes so the attribute has been added and I want to select the colors I want to add to these attributes. So I'll click on this plus icon here and I want to select white and I'll click on create. I'll click on this plus icon and I'll select black. So now we have the two options I want to add and I'll click on this plus icon to add the attributes. Now the attribute has been added. So if you want to add other attributes, you can just do that. Now I want to go to variants. And I want to add the variants of the product. So I'll click on the plus icon. And I'll select the color. I'll start with white. So I'll upload the image for the white um, variable. So just maintain the same price. And if it is different, you can just change the price, okay? So I'll click on create and I'll repeat the same thing for the black um, variable, okay? So once you are done, just scroll and ensure your product is active and it is not out of stock, okay? So we are done creating the product for the variable, okay? So now I want to add products for um, the digital products. So I'll select courses, I'll click on add products. So I'll go to courses and I want to edit my product. So I'll click here and there are some things you can add to a digital product. For example, you can add the contents of the digital product. So let, let's click on add content. So we have a video file or a PDF. You have the option to upload the file. And if you have it as maybe a Google Drive link or an external file, you can just select this external URL and then upload the URL, okay? So once you're done, just click on create. And you are good to go, okay? So that is that for the product. So what you want to do now is that you want to integrate the payment gateway where you can receive payments from your customers with their cards, with transfer, etc. So just click on the payment icon and the pay later is enabled, okay? But I don't want that. I want to employ the use of the pay stack, okay? So the pay stack is um, a platform where you can receive payments across Africa, okay? So I created a video on how you can create your pay stack and get it from test mode to um, life mode, okay? So just go ahead and watch that video so that you can understand better, okay? So to integrate this, I'll click on settings and I'll click on enable. So it's going to ask me for the publishable key and the secret key. Okay. Don't forget if you watch that video, you will understand how to get your publishable key and the secret key. Okay. So I'll just go to um, my Paystack account and copy this. Okay. So we have the webhook and they say we should place it in our paystack account so i'll just copy this and i'll go to paystack okay so this is the dashboard of my paystack account and i want to click on this menu icon so i'll scroll down and go to settings
and now i want to click on api and webhooks okay you can see it api and webhooks so i'll click on it so we have the live secret key and the live public key okay so this is meant to be secret and if you want to make it public just click on this eye icon you will ask to input your password so just do that so just copy the secret key and also copy the public key okay so we have the webhook url remember you copied it from um your vepa account okay this is the this is the webhook so just copy it and click here and paste it all right so once you paste it you are good to go so once you are done just go ahead and click on save changes and the update has been successful so just go back to your vepa account okay and paste the publishable key that's the public key and then paste the secret key also so that is it if you want to play around you can just turn on this test mode and click on save so you can see paste stack has been enabled so it is as simple as that so what you want to do next is that you want to add your whatsapp number to your site so that people can contact you from the site okay so just click on add whatsapp number and you can just add your profile picture your name and then the phone number okay. so if you are always active you can click here and click on create And that is it we have been able to add our whatsapp number to our site so i'll go back so we have other options you can explore okay you can check your overview from the dashboard you can check your orders we have a lot of options you can explore like the coupons i'll be showing you all of that in another video okay so what i want us to do now is that i want us to um edit our domain okay you can actually integrate this VEPA. Um, this VEPA, you can integrate Facebook into the VEPA site. Okay, we have Google Analytics, etc. Okay, so at your leisure, if you know about Facebook pixels, you can explore that. And we have um, social links, etc. You can edit all of these at your leisure. So I want to edit the domain. So I'll click on it. Now, if you don't know what domain is, domain is the URL of your site. So this domain is lengthy and I just want to reduce it. Okay, so when I click on save, um, yes, I get an error message because I've used this domain name to create my own site okay so you can just check out this website if you want to visit my store okay so i'll just edit this and put um test mode so if you already have a domain you can explore this option and i'll just click on save and that is it so you can see this is our website and you can just click on share to copy the link okay so you can copy it and you can also share it on facebook whatsapp etc okay so now let's go ahead and check out our sites so i'll just click on this icon here and it will direct me to my browser okay wow so this is awesome you can see all the courses we uploaded this is the digital course and this is the t-shirt so you can see the difference between these two okay one is starting from 1000 so if i click here you can see i have the options to pick black and white okay so here are also the variants of um, images that we added okay so you can see the categories everything is sectioned into categories you can see courses etc etc you can also see the um, whatsapp integration we added so if i click here i can message my boot numbers okay 
So let's add this object to cart. Let's see how it works. And I'll just go to cart. And you can see I can click on address. So I can input my email address and I'll click on continue. So here we have the payment. So you can see Paystack is integrated. I can just click here to activate Paystack and I'll just click on pay now. So they may ask the customer for the WhatsApp number. So let me just input it. So I'll click on place order. So you can see I got a notification of a new order with the hashtag number. So this is great. And I can just pay with my card on Paystack pay with bank transfer etc so i'll just cancel this payment and okay now if you want to share the link for a single product you can just click on the product and go to this url here and click on copy okay so this e-commerce website can be used for your facebook ads your whatsapp ads etc okay so just go ahead and create your own e-commerce website and start selling your own product okay my name is Isaac Matt and if you have any question, just drop it in the comment section and I'll do well to respond to them. If you're enjoying this video, just give it a thumbs up and share so that others can also learn, okay? In my next video, I'll be showing you how to design an e-commerce website for a physical product with all the functionalities installed. So if you want to be the first to get notified, then just go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you there.